Today, I'm going to talk about the recommendations on 2015 San Francisco International Airport customer survey. For the context, San Francisco Airport SFO is in the airport industry. Its competition is getting more fierce because of the expansion of customers' international getaway airport options. And after analyzing San Francisco International Airport 2015 customer survey data set, we will report the results and make certain recommendations to the CMO of the San Francisco International Airport. And also, after analyzing the data set and uh, reporting to the uh, CMO of the San Francisco Airport, we would like to have a trial period about our recommendations. This trial period is to help us to monitor customer certification and make certain adjustments of our recommendations. So our need is to improve the customer satisfaction so that we can help San Francisco International Airport to be ranked as number one getaway airport. And also we would like after making recommendations, we would like to help San Francisco International Airport to generate more premium passengers. Our vision, we would like to use Jump, Excel, those tools to sort out a group of variables in our data set. And we would, after sort, sorting out the group of variables, we would like to find out which group has the strongest positive correlation to Q7 all. And within that group, uh, we would like to see the variables that have the lower ratings in 2015. And in the end, we would like to create a model, a metric to improve customer satisfaction. Before we analyze the data set, we have come up with three framed questions. First, in our database, which variables, including Q7 art, Q7 food, Q7 store, Q7 sign, Q7 walkways, Q7 screens, Q7 info down, Q7 info up, Q7 Wi-Fi, Q7 roads, Q7 park, Q7 airstream, Q7 long-term parking, and Q7 rental are grouped together, and what are those groups? Second, in our database, which group has the strongest positive correlation to Q7 all overall ratings in 2015? Third, in our database, which variables have lower ratings in that in a group that has the strongest positive correlation to Q7 all overall ratings? So, first, we use jump. Uh, to sort out the group of variables by using the factor analysis in the jump. As we can see from the chart, we have, uh, analyze, we have come up with three factors. The factor one is about the transportation, including Q7 long-term parking, Q7 park, Q7 air train, Q7 rental, and Q7 roads. For the factor two, as we can see from chart, we named it as airport public facility, including Q7 walkways, Q7 sign, Q7 screens, Q7 store, Q7 food, Q7 art, Q7 Wi-Fi, Q7 info up, Q7 info down. For the factor three, we named it as information buses, including Q7 info up and Q7 info down. After getting those three factors, we would like to see which factor has the strongest positive correlation. So we use another tactic called multivariate to find the correlations. So as you can see from the chart, factor one has a positive 0.3176 correlation to Q7 or overall ratings. Factor two have has a 0.4814 positive correlations to Q7 or overall ratings. 
and factor 3 has a positive correlation to the uh, uh, to the Q7 or overall ratings at 0.2682. However, we did a an, uh, further analysis to eliminate factor with negative correlation coefficient by the fee model. So, as you can see from the chart, factor 3 actually have a negative 0.2096 correlation coefficient to Q7 or overall ratings. Therefore, we would eliminate factor 3 and we will rerun a multivariate test for factor 2, factor 1, and uh, Q7 or to find out which factor has the strongest positive correlations to Q7 or overall ratings. So, factor 1 or factor 2? As you can see from the new multivariate, uh, new multivariate test, Q factor 1 has a positive correlation to Q7 or at 0.3176. Factor 2 actually have a positive correlation to Q7 or overall ratings at 0.4814. Therefore, we made our conclusions. Factor 2 airport public facility has the strongest positive correlation to Q7 or. After uh, getting the factor with uh, or the group that has the strongest positive correlation to Q7 or, we're looking for the lowest rating through airport public facility factor 2. So in jump, we did a tabulation to get the average ratings for each variables within that group. As you can see, Q7 food and Q7 store has below average ratings compared to other variables. Q7 food has 3.959 ratings and, and Q7 store has 3.92596 ratings. Therefore, in conclusion, there actually are three categories that San Francisco International Airport is trying to focus including transportation, airport facility, and the information booths. Airport public facility, as we have talked about as factor 2, has the strongest positive correlation to overall ratings. And food and store within airport public facility have below average ratings within that group. So we made our recommendations. First, we should focus on airport public facility to improve overall customer satisfaction. Also, we would like to improve the qualities of food and store. For, for example, for food, San Francisco can try to carry more cushions to their passengers. In addition, they can open more restaurants with various choices. Moreover, they can try to expand the dining hours, for example, expand more options like 24-hour dining and uh, more. For store, San Francisco International Airport can carry more luxury brands to expand passengers' shopping options and can also help them to generate more premium passengers. Also, increasing more duty-free shops can help to increase the overall customer's satisfaction. Thanks for your listening. Are there any questions?